Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for November 22nd, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, the FDA approved Viv Healthcare's fixed dose oral therapy combining the integrase inhibitor Tivacay and Johnson & Johnson's non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor Adirant. The drug, which will be marketed under the name Jaluca, is the first complete HIV treatment regimen containing only two drugs to be cleared in the U.S. Jaluca is indicated for adults whose virus is currently suppressed on a stable regimen, with no history of treatment failure and no known substitutions associated with resistance to the therapy's individual components. Deborah Bernkrant, director of the FDA's Division of Antiviral Products, remarked that limiting the number of drugs in any HIV treatment regimen can help reduce toxicity for patients. And finally, Late-stage study results showed that AbbVie and Roche's Venclexta significantly improved progression-free survival versus Teva's Trianda. The Murano study included 389 patients with relapsed refractory chronic lymphocytic leukemia who received rituxin in combination with one of the two drugs. PFS was 17 months for patients who received Trianda, while it has not yet been reached after two years of treatment in those given Venclexta. Full results from the study, in which Venclexta demonstrated an overall response rate of 93.3% versus 67.7% for Trianda, will be presented at the American Society of Hematology annual meeting. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 